Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve addition and subtraction one-step equations. And a one-step equation is just what it sounds like. We'll need to do one step in order to solve these equations. Now you may be able to solve some or all of these using mental math, but we're going to go through these using a process. Knowing and understanding this process will help solve equations that are more complex and or they won't be able to be solved using mental math. So at the top of the screen is a very important note. We need to isolate the variable, which means get it by itself, by using the inverse operation. Inverse operation means opposite operation. And we have to remember to keep everything balanced. So let's see exactly what that means as we go through our four examples here, starting with number one, where we have x minus four equals seven. X is our variable that we need to isolate, and we are subtracting four from x. So the inverse or opposite operation would be to add four. So let's add four to that side. That way the fours cancel out. So we have a subtraction of four and an addition of four. So those fours cancel out. But remember, keep everything balanced. So whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So let's add four to the other side as well. So the fours on the left cancel each other out leaving x by itself. We isolated that variable. Now 7 plus 4 on the right will give us 11. So x equals 11. And we can double check that we have the correct answer by plugging the 11 back into the equation. So 11 minus 4 equals 7, which is true. So we have the correct answer there, x equals 11. Now number 2, we have an equation there that looks a little different than number one because we have the 15 on the left and then the um, m minus 11, the variable on the right. Although it looks a little different, it's the same exact process. So we need to isolate the variable, the m. We are subtracting 11. So what's the opposite of subtracting 11? Well, adding 11. So let's add 11 to that side. That way those 11s cancel out and the m is left by itself. Now, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So m is by itself, and 15 plus 11, well, that equals 26. So m equals 26, and we'll plug back in to see if that's true. So 15 equals 26 minus 11, which is true. And you can think of these equations like balancing a scale. Both sides need to be exactly equal. So on the left we have 15, and 26 minus 11 equals 15 as well. So both sides are exactly equal. On to number three, where we have g plus 13 equals 19. So we need to isolate the g, the variable. We are adding 13, so the opposite of adding 13 would be subtracting 13. That way those 13s cancel out, but remember, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So subtract 13 from the right, that 19 over there. G is now isolated, and we have 19 minus 13, which gives us 6. So G equals 6, and we'll plug back in. 6 plus 13 equals 19. So that's true, and we have the correct answer. On to number four, where we have 26 equals y plus eight. So we're adding eight to the variable y. We need to um, use the inverse or opposite operation, so subtract eight, that way we isolate y. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So let's subtract eight from the left um, as well. y is now isolated, and 26 minus eight equals 18. So y equals 18. Let's plug back in and see if this is true. 18 plus eight is 26, so we are good to go with number four. There you have it. There's how you solve addition and subtraction one-step equations. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.